Hey guys, this is Team Uncased. Uh, I'm Aditya. That's my friend Ankur, and welcome back to a new episode of our reviews. So this time uh, it's gonna be a quick watch. Uh, we just watched this uh, documentary uh, by Netflix called "Spelling the Dream." Yeah. Something clearly is going on that needs to be better understood. Basically, the whole um, whole idea of this is how um, if somebody watches Spelling Bee or is interested in that, you'll see how in the past few years it's all just you know uh, Indian Americans um, winning it all essentially. Like um, four years ago. Eight people were uh, made, you know, the champions of the spelling bee, out of which seven were Indians, and and they couldn't separate these people out in terms of, um, you know, typically uh, I've seen it going into, um, you know, like around hundreds of rounds, but you know, even after those rounds, these people are still on on, on par. So this basically started in I think 1985 when the first Indian American won it. But that's the entire idea behind the documentary. And it's really important to see because, and I have seen this a little bit as well. That in general, you know, um, the the uh, people in the U.S. have this conception that oh, Indians are really smart at this particular thing or are really good at studies in particular. And the documentary kind of mentions that and acknowledges that but also shows you how that is not exactly true or but it is true in this if you see this in a vacuum but it's not true because the people say for example who are moving from um, india to the us are, are already uh, I, i'm not saying cream but are, are kind of the ambitious ones you know a lot of people um, stay uh, or choose to stay back in india but um, you know people are uh, you know, wanting to work for the Googles and the uh, Facebooks of the world, and and wanting to go Harvard and, and Stanford, they they kind of go to the US, and and these kids are a product of that specific group of people. So there's nothing genetic about it. It's just how the you know their their parents work and how just the work ethic or the work culture is in their houses. Um, and if you guys see their you know documentary, you'll kind of see how a lot of these kids. Um, kind of see it as normal, you know. Even if they big, win such a big thing, it's it's taken as just another another step, which is kind of sad. And that you know you're you're supposed to celebrate um, your achievements, but it just goes on to show how um, kind of ambition plays its its role in that specific group of people. Look how cool Arvind is winning the title. <laughs> no, Holy didn't even care that he won. <laughs> some notions that that have been created like uh, say if uh, so for the past 12 years it's been indian american kids who have been winning this competition so it's a no brainer that it's so hari konum blue who is a great uh, stand up artist he clearly mentions this is like an olympics for the indian american kids they are they are the best at it so they there's no you know they got on espn right yeah so it it's basically a sport now given that it comes on espn and the kids are all excited about it obviously so yeah i mean like it bursts that notion that uh, you know uh, it clearly shows uh, as though even though the kids are actually american citizens given the fact that their parents moved in like 60s and 70s and now they are born citizens there but they are still at times treated as secondary citizens in their own country of birth uh, just because they are beating the american kids and are smarter than them obviously uh, but they show like it's not genetics or anything it's the hard work that goes behind it and uh, not just from the kids but the parents as well I feel that they are like kids who are bookworms and stuff like that but no that's not the case they are like multi talented so uh, it's it's a different kind of a kind of a picture that they are presented and uh, which is good to see uh, it's not like indian parents always forcing like you have to achieve this and you have to do i mean obviously you need to have goals and stuff like that but it's not always pressure Uh, to perform like kids have their own destiny in their hand and it ends on a very positive note uh, saying that uh, you know right now kids are uh, you know wanting to win this competition but then in the future you never know they might take up something else and they show kids playing flute and uh, you know basketball and stuff like that and you never know another indian american superstar might come out of uh, all these interests that are there so 
I mean, like a lot of positivity. Uh, it's it's a very quick watch, one and a half hours, and uh, mind blowing to see these kids. I mean, like age four and seven and six, uh, spelling out words which we haven't even heard about. Like uh, mind blowing stuff. P N E U M O N O U L T R A M I C R O S C O P I C S I L I C O V O L C A N O C O N I O S I S. Numano Ultra Microscopic Slow Coffee Can and Coney Oats List. I'm all day. A L A F R A I L I S T I C E X P I A L O D O C I O U S. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, it's not like those kids, even though kids who do not win, it's not like, uh, you know, they are not able to, you know, they break down or something like that. No, but those kids have started their own companies, age 13, 14 and all. And like, they are geniuses, uh, given the fact that they are competing. So uh, the documentary is basically summed up in that uh, one particular thing where they say that these kids are not fighting against each other. They are fighting against a dictionary which contains like a million words. So that's that's the whole point of it. Like you have to acknowledge that these kids are genius given the fact they win or not. So it's not about victory, but it's about, you know, giving the recognition that they deserve. It's a quick watch and, and yeah, it'll be a good... Uh... Uh, you know, you can call it time pass, but but uh, it's a it's it's good and it's very refreshing to see something like that for a change, just a different sort of perspective that we seem to overlook. So yeah, uh, well, thank you guys, and and do uh, you know like and um, comment on the video if you like them, and we'll keep coming back um, with more content. Um, we are also looking to watch some um, foreign language films. I think we're going to watch uh, a film that was originally shot in Mandarin. Um, but the English name is called the Wandering Earth Project. So maybe the next one is going to be that. But yeah, um, keep watching for more content and uh, we'll see you guys the next time. Yeah, this is T1K signing off for now. Stay safe. Yeah.